San Francisco is one of the world's most beautiful cities. Its scenic beauty and rich history have been possible in part thanks to a hidden city under the city, our sewer system. For more than 150 years, the San Francisco Public Utilities Commission has proudly run this underground city so that the one above remains protected. San Francisco is the only coastal city in California that has a combined sewer system, meaning we collect and treat everything that's flushed down the toilet, flows through a drain, or runs off the streets. It's a big job, but it's the key to keeping our city and the bay and ocean from being damaged by raw sewage and pollutants. Capturing and treating street runoff is important. Think of all the pollutants, like dirt and oil, that get washed into the sewers. In a separate system, these pollutants would reach the Bay and Ocean with little or no treatment. Now, let's take a tour of this hidden city under the city. Once sewage leaves a home, it enters a network of more than a thousand miles of sewer pipes. In most of the system, thanks to the city's hilly geography, wastewater moves through the pipes using only gravity. The 1,000 miles of pipe beneath the city, laid end to end, would stretch from Portland, Oregon to San Diego. On an average non-rainy day, San Francisco generates about 83 million gallons of wastewater. That's enough to fill 120 Olympic-sized swimming pools. From the sewer pipes, wastewater then flows into 10 huge storage boxes around the perimeter of the city. These boxes can be 40 feet deep and hold up to 200 million gallons of wastewater. Some are actually hidden beneath both the Great Highway and the Embarcadero. These storage boxes only fill up when it rains. They store both sewage and stormwater for our plants and provide partial treatment. After the storage boxes, wastewater travels to one of the city's three treatment facilities. Where you live determines where your wastewater goes. The east side is served by the city's largest plant the Southeast Treatment Plant, located in San Francisco's Bayview District. Completed in 1951, it treats about 80% of the city's wastewater, along with a small portion from Brisbane and Daly City. The West Side is served by the city's newest facility, the Oceanside Treatment Plant, located next to the San Francisco Zoo. It treats about 20% of the city's wastewater. Completed in 1993, this state-of-the-art facility was designed to be hidden from sight. All operations are indoors, so there's no odor impact on the surrounding area. In 2004, the Oceanside plant won the Environmental Protection Agency's Plant of the Year Award, beating out cities across the nation. The North Point facility, located near Fisherman's Wharf, has been in operation since the 1950s. It is activated only on rainy days to provide additional treatment capacity. The treatment process is a series of steps that cleans the wastewater, leaving only water that's safe to release back into nature. The treated solid waste, biosolids, are also put to good use. Here's how it all works. Wastewater treatment mimics how dirty water is cleaned in nature, using both biological processes and gravity. When wastewater arrives at the plant, it's first screened for large items, and then a second time to remove smaller particulate matter. Up to eight truckloads of screened material are extracted each day and are hauled to landfill. The next step is called primary clarification, Wastewater is placed in holding tanks, where larger solids settle to the bottom and any oil or grease rise to the surface, all of which are collected and treated. Now the wastewater will go through aeration, a biological phase in the treatment process. The wastewater is put into sealed tanks, where microorganisms consume the organic materials and nutrients in the liquid as an energy source. This purifies the wastewater. 
The next step is secondary clarification, where again, gravity plays an important role in making the water clean. What remains is called effluent, treated water that's safe to release back into the ocean or bay. The effluent from the Oceanside plant is pumped four and a half miles into the Pacific Ocean and from the Southeast plant 900 feet into San Francisco Bay. Biologists and chemists monitor the water quality of our bay and ocean to ensure the released effluent has no negative impact on the ecosystem. The SFPUC's Ocean Monitoring Program has documented nearly 1,000 distinct ocean bottom invertebrates just offshore of San Francisco. 